there we go. Crazy has elimination match between in a few minutes and out of few. Okay, we start off with Scandinavian with an early A6. And he's looking at this, of course. In this case, when there is not much development yet, you can cover like this. Take, take, pawn at A3 and you just go back. But Queen F3 is also very reasonable because it attacks this. So now uh, let's say e6 or knight f6, knight e2 and should be good. I wonder if he can go bishop g4 here. Yeah, because if the queen g3, knight here, queen takes g4, queen takes c3. Interesting game. Probably white has something like bishop takes f7 there or queen c8 ideas but okay this comes with check in some lines hey Liam So, queen e3, um, I think it's alright, you gotta go for something like this I guess, or just bishop d2, it's also very reasonable, just give this, and then you can take here and knight e5 can come. But the extra pawn over here isn't that useful after a move like this. And well, this is not very important pawn, and at the moment, White King seems safe. You might want to do something about that. Like this, or pawn e4, and then push the pawns. This seems like a good move as well. I mean, the knight will be everywhere. It will be a little bit worse than on the f6. Why not pawn at e6? Well, he takes this hangs with check uh, this one in a couple of lines. So. Guess he wanted to get rid of that first. <clears throat> yeah, now mm, bonnet b2 is something white should worry about, I guess. It's just an annoying move. I'd probably go for this. 
Yeah, this gets ready to castle. If pawn at b2, you can even castle. It's just not that pleasant. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I like this in between move. Takes pawn e6. And this leads to mate with pawn d7 and knight f7. So if takes pawn e6, you gotta go this way. And with the queen here and a knight drop on f5, that seems very bad as well. So he waited till this bishop got rid of d7. I think, yeah, now it's made in a couple. I think out of fuel shouldn't have taken on f3. Guess he had a nice tactic lined up there. Alright, bishop g4. You could you could play f3 here. But bishop e2 is perfectly fine as well. Now white has this setup which you would like with white. With the knights you castle. Play bishop e3 or bishop f4. Push the knight away sometimes. Hey okay. This, this placing of the bishop here isn't that good, I feel. Because you, you kind of make this bishop do nothing and, unless you play it forward. But it takes some time. So I like the decision to immediately put it forward again so this bishop can come to life. So here you might want to play bishop at e7, because if bishop e7 take, take, knight h5, you get that typical attack on the, on the squares. Hey Pekiar, no, always, and good morning to Goose. Um, so he played the check first. I guess if this he wanted to take here, that was a nice little trick. So he played c4, and now we get the knight h5 idea. But we have two defenders on f6. And if it takes, you can take here. After, let's say, pawn f6. And white, white really needs more knights to make this really menacing. So what should white do? Maybe just knight f4 to cover against knight at d3. No, he's somewhat covered now against knight at d3. Because just king f1. It's not ideal. Morning, Pastorgia. And black could also just try for knight at h3, but I guess bishop here covers for the moment. This is coming as a threat, so he just decides to play a little bit slower. And he's threatening knight at c2 in some lines. So how should white respond? Maybe bishop a4 to cover c2 and cover this knight. Because knight takes d4 is also interesting to, to grab a couple of pawns here. But yeah, bishop here, knight h4, and then almost rook g1 is almost forced there. Uh, maybe he has knight f4 as well. So a hard move to deal with bishop at d3. That's why knight, knight g3, I guess knight takes f4 was, uh, of knight f4 was more preferred. 
Becky R saying maybe this was a move I guess could lead to something but you get bishop a a4 maybe in between <clears throat> and now he goes for knight at f4 keeping this knight here keeping this idea in the future alive but here is just losing pieces and this square will be available for a knight next this looks bad I am I am Akboye. Currently, I'm waiting for my round four part, uh, opponent. So, if you click on that challenge and you search for my name, you will find where I'm at and who I'm awaiting. Ah, it's just now black has the upper hand for sure. Nicely done after the knight xg2. Out of you will re realize he shouldn't give away a knight, but giving away the queen is also takes just takes and uh, bishop e2 double check if you take back. Is mate. Okay, two zero. But out of fuel, not without chances. Um, so maybe he is able to get an upset. Because well, on rating uh, in a few minutes is clearly favored, of course. Almost 200 points. Early queen g4. Using the fact that he didn't uh, develop this. This is very nice because this bishop is already played. So you're almost forcing uh, black to go here and then you develop two pieces whereas black has nothing and you can even go h4 then just grab some space since you have time yeah king of eight now it's just waiting for uh, the dark squares to be attacked. Maybe black gets out like this. But yeah, just queen g3 and uh, bishop d3. You can just develop here with white. The queen is uh, very nicely placed here. I wouldn't consider this yet because there are just too many defenders. I goes to f4, which I guess is also fine. It's covering this, so that helps. And you can see black's pieces are very cramped. This bishop has nowhere to go but here. This knight here. White's play is pretty natural and now he gets bishop h6. Knight g6 could be considered to give up the queen for rook and bishop and the queen doesn't have ideal drops queen at c2, rook at d2 is uh, fine but you can also just retreat the queen to g3 and 
wait what happens. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice match so far. Okay, you're right. Both are playing well. Ah, he's going for the queen takes f7, knight takes rook with check. King f8. You want to make him drop the rook on f7 so he cannot drop the pawn on f7. Yeah, now don't take the knight, just take the bishop. And you threaten bishop here. Which is really good. You can also start with rook here, which threatens takes and queen a8. Both seem pretty nice. Because now he just wins the queen. And, well, okay. Black is not completely lost yet. White is uh, white needs some needs some pieces to fix this, but he could start with queen at g6. This maybe if he really is a need for pawns. He's going after this. Then he can drop the queen on f7. I think he, here you should try queen at g8 to make sure these pieces are. Uh, oh, yeah. It's almost forced now. Otherwise, you just lose it. The queen at g6, you can block. And then maybe queen takes g7. Okay, maybe maybe that was something. But here, black has the potential of taking over the game if he manages to get safe here. Nice move. Going for pawn at f7 with check, and you also have this. So bishop a5 to cover the first threat. And then, then think again. If he uses the pawn, let's say here, then you may have some time to go crazy in certain lines. I would consider doing this. He takes there. Um, uh, maybe it's okay. I was looking at pony 2 and knight f4 ideas. Oh, you should, should, should you take that? <laughs> I was thinking not, but now he's going for pony two and knight of four. But the problem is he needs one more pawn. Ah, uh, or yeah, does he have knight drops here? Maybe. Well, I guess it's his only chance. Because now knight h3 you just take with the rook, knight takes, takes, and the, the attack seems over. As I some. Ah yeah, maybe it was sharper on f8 to cover more squares and to not allow this pawn at f7. Uh, there might have been some chances there for out of fuel. Let's see if you can take take this play into this next game. Cause the games are very uh, they are relatively close, entertaining so far on the Sunday morning. Ooh, Bishop D two is not. 
very inspired. You just want to go here and uh, keep it that way, or just play e3, allow this to capture, because now the bishop is locked in. Ah, yeah, nice, good point. Defending can be so hard sometimes. Those little uh, nuances Sykes on is telling about telling us about. Yeah, so here white uh, has played a little passive and black is almost everything he wants. You could develop like this. You can even play f6 first if you don't want this 95 stuff. Trading voluntarily there, I don't really like because this is just fine, I feel. But maybe he has some plans. Same here, trading here voluntarily. Uh, maybe he has mate, mating patterns. If this works, then he could have traded here, here, 95. King f6. Yeah, now you see why you shouldn't have traded on c6 if you don't gonna go do queen takes f7. Because this bishop otherwise would have been here. And then the queen is very nicely placed on h3 for the moment. But in this case, bishop at f5 is very annoying because your g4 is really weakening the squares. G4, knight g5, queen takes, knight f3 is, for example, a possibility. Thanks for following Firebranded. And this trade shouldn't really help. I think it even helps why black, because now black has the possibility to play h5 instead of repeating. But repeating is also good, because how are you going to defend the g2 square next? Um, with, without losing the queen. I have a hard time doing that. Covering there is losing a full queen. Then, how, oh yeah, it's hard. It was hard after after bishop takes e6. A tough game for uh, for. Uh, for white. And here he can just take, go knight at f3, and uh, win everything. But he doesn't see it. Okay, made in one. White resigned before black can play it. Okay, we go back to this. He played a6 last time. I really think black should just go for this. Maybe bishop g4 or f5 in between. a6 seems like a waste of time. But then again, white is playing a3, so. Both lost some time. So bishop g4 is possible, bishop f5 is possible, pawn at b4 is a move, 
black has options. I would not go for this because of d5 and pawn at e6. He's trying to disrupt development of the knight, make it go here. Which isn't that bad because white can just go here next. And a few minutes has tendency of covering this knight uh, with the queen in the games they played. Maybe he's thinking bishop takes f7, yeah. Then proposing queen trade so he has knight at g5 and whatnot. But black could trade queens and play queen at e4 to make knight at e3 happen. And if not knight at e3, you can take here, I guess. Or, well, depends a bit on what uh, white plays. Maybe he goes here. Because then this loses, of course, after knight g5. Okay, knight e2. Knight e2. If you go here, you lose to knight g5. And pawn f7, queen e8, with mate, because the knight covers this. And if the king runs up, queen f7 and knight here. So he covered knight at g5. And h6 is usually a very weakening move, but in this case he has the squares covered for the moment. Nice little in-between move, he wants to take this with check. So basically forcing this. Back here are saying knight d8 just made it, because if back you've pawn here, queen e8. Here then. Well, it is at least very close to mate. Okay, it takes with the bishop, interesting. Maybe he's seeing some future for the bishop. Um, you could consider knight at f7. Maybe black can just take, it's very scary to do that, but knight c6 just loses the rook for not a lot of compensation. And the problem for black is that he isn't really safe. He needs white just needs a pawn and it's over. He's trying, he's trying. Um Rook f7 could be possible, queen at f7 might be forced mate. Take, take, knight c5, cover the square, and then rook e8, yeah. That's made in for. And he calculated it's fine, it's.
Knight at c5 covers the important square. This square is covered by the pawn. 5 0. Nice. Nicely done. Out of you has to win five games in a row here <laughs> to not lose this match. First to uh, five and a half wins. Very aggressive h5 here. If you want to take somehow, you're going to go here. Whereas white should probably play for something like bishop h4 to stop this. Yeah, now we, how are you going to play against this? Bishop takes e4, knight g2. Problem is, this is happening, I guess. But I think you have to do something about this e4 knight. Because you want to respond with the queen coming here, you want to respond with something like bishop at g3 without that being captured by the knight. So hard position already for white. Oh, and he's admitted he made a mistake. He, and he goes back. But now h4. Everything is lined up for h4. Take, take. Then some bishop takes f2 ideas are coming and if you take and drop a pawn on g3 you just gonna get sacrificed on black has everything he wanted after this 5 h5 move Yeah, bishop takes, I guess. Leave this, don't take here yet, because then white can take maybe on e4 in some lines. Then again, you could probably also get away with this bishop takes f2 ideas. Yeah, and he's threatening not only queen h2, but also pawn at h2. And some queen takes f2 ideas. Pawn h2, king h1, queen takes f2. Can we reverse engineer that? I don't think so. So pawn h2 first. Queen takes f2. This uh, suggested by pawn in training also wins. Knight takes f2 is also very hard to deal with rook at g1 coming. There's no way. I wanted to go here because it's fancy and I knight at g3 and mates next. Almost impossible to stop and in a few minutes also wants the fancy one. 
Knight and now knight g3 wins with mate. Very nice. 6 0. Nicely done. Congratulations, good games. In a few minutes is gonna be playing let's see the loser of pawn in training versus sack next. So maybe you will have uh, pawn in training there, maybe we'll have sack. I have eight in pawn in training that he is gonna win. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the upcoming matches. Because I won't continue streaming here, but I probably am for sure going to be back for this one. Because that will be very interesting. And maybe I'll get back in like an hour or two to cover these or one of those. Very, very interesting matches going on but this will probably be the most interesting of the day so I'm gonna leave you for the moment and uh, maybe I'll see you back in a couple hours probably so make sure you follow and uh, get back to me then and otherwise I'll see you here 5 p.m. Central European time all right uh, let's go over to mark the marker see you next time